One of the things that you'll appreciate about Elementor is that it allows you to customize your workspace. And what do I mean by this? When you go to the options in here, you'll be able to find the user preferences. Now the user preferences, you have the option to change your UI. You can choose from the three options, which is a auto detect, light and dark. Now auto detect works with your operating system. Like right now, my computer is in dark mode. So you will see that automatically your settings change into dark mode. So you're able to work with that easy. Or you can always set it to work in dark mode if that's your preference, or you can choose to have it in light. The other option is working with the panel. By default, your panel has a given width. So depending on your choice, you can set your optimum width so that you can use your real estate very well. Now the next option you have is having the editing handles. To show you what these are, let me add a little text inside my page. And then when I go over this little handle, you'll see that it has these little items popping out. So those are the editing handles. So with this, you can duplicate what you have here, or you can click to add another column, or rather you can even choose to delete that particular column. So this makes it a little bit easy for you to do the editing on your own. So that's what the editing handles are for. But if this was turned off and you added your, your text here, you don't have that hovering effect or you don't have those options. So you just have to go all the way right to the editing item here, right click, then you can be able to duplicate that. The last option you have is enabling the light box in the editor. So let's assume you have some images in here. So I'll drag and drop an image into this. I'll choose an image from my library. Let's say it's this nice food. And once I have this, I enable the light box feature here. When I click on this, it should be able to pop up on my screen. Now, the reason why this is not showing is that I have not linked to the media file and I have not turned on the light box. So I'll choose to have it as yes, so that when I come to this and click on it, you actually see this light box effect showing up. So if I disable this setting, even if I have my image linked to the media file and I box turned on, if I click on this, I will not get that what you see what you get effect from my editor. Now that's the reason why this is always turned on by default. It's always set to yes. And when you click, you get that effect. Now once you've set up all your user preferences, you can always just click the update button and this will be set up for you for the rest of your editing preference until you change them.